Beauty, quality, craftsmanship, great material, elegance. What are we talking about? We're talking about quiet luxury. But we're not only talking about quiet luxury, because I know you're up to your ears and you all know about quiet luxury. We're gonna talk about 10 bags that I think are beautiful, understated, elegant, durable. They go from higher end to lower end prices. They're all luxury brands. They're stunning and you'll want to know about them. So stick around. <laughs> Hello, hello, my beauties. How are we today? Today, yes, we're going to give you 10 beautiful brands that, you know, are more understated than those flashy logos we're all used to seeing over the last couple of years. Before we start all that, I want to say a big shout out to Just Carl. Hi, Carl. Mwah. Big hi to you. And fragrance of today, talking about understatement and low key. Would you look at the size of this little bottle? And yes, it's timeless. You know, so it's very apt for this video. It is Eau de Merveille Bleu by Hermes. Now, I was given this, ah, do I just get it open there? As a little sample, it is beautiful. It is like a marine, woody, aquatic, aromatic, and there's patchouli in there. Oh, it is fresh. Yes, that's what I would say about that. You're going to feel like you just stepped out of the ocean and somebody spritzed you. Wouldn't that be nice? What an image. Lovely. So yes, today I've seen this quiet luxury go around quite a bit. I said I'm not going to start telling my beautiful audience what quiet luxury is. I know you all know what quiet luxury is. So I said my take on it would be to give you 10 brands, 10 luxury bags that I think are amazing. They're timeless. The craftsmanship, most of them are handmade. They are premium, premium materials. Just stunning, no logos, they're not flashy. They're very, very much saying, I know I'm timeless, I know I'm elegant, I don't need to splash it all over the place. And actually, I also like my privacy, so I don't want to draw attention to myself. You know, there's a lot of crime out there, there's a lot of stuff going on, I want to keep it under the radar. And when does quiet luxury happen? This comes around in times of recession as well, and in times of uncertainty, which we were very much in at the moment. And so people like to be a little bit more subdued, the mood of the kind of world at the moment. So as I said, they're timeless, timeless pieces, elegantly crafted. I thought I would bring out a few eye, piece, eye candies today. These are my timeless, elegant, no logos, understated that I have in my collection at the moment. And maybe I'll get a few more, maybe I won't, maybe I'll relax because I've been very bold lately. Calm down, girls! So I am just going to go ahead and talk about these expertly crafted, high quality, underrated, elegant, sophisticated brands and bags. This whole thing of if you know, you know. But you know the thing of if you know, you know. Because if you know, you know, which I didn't, I actually had to Google. But the thing is that they're all quiet, they're all understated, now they're all over social media, so now everybody knows. So they're not that quiet, not that understated because of TikTok and all the rest of it. I want to go ahead and talk about my top 10 picks of your quiet luxury, sophisticated elegance and timeless. Beautiful, beautiful bags. Number 10, and I know I've talked about this a little bit before, is Delvo. Delvo, would you believe, is older than Hermes. What? Not a lot of people know that. And they have been around since the 1800s. They are a French brand. Uh, they were born kind of in Brussels, but their, their bags are kind of French made. They get their uh, leathers from Italy also. The brand is around since 1829. It is very, very, understated. There's absolutely no logos on this bag. It is very, very much about the craftsmanship, how it's made, the style, the design, the low keyness of it all. And this bag is, and this is why it's at number 10, because it's very expensive. But I mean, you know, case in point, this bag is 5,900 sterling. You can buy it online, which is, is nice because you can't do that with all brands. The craftsmanship is amazing. The Delvo bag is worn by none other than the royal family in Belgium. So it has very, very high status. And in the triangle of luxury brands, you have accessible, you have luxury, and then you have literally the elite 
uh, the Supreme on the very top. And these Supreme brands would be Hermes, Chanel and Delvo. They would be the highest of the high. They're not that accessible. They're not that easy to, to get. And Delvo are known for their exotics. They offer amazing exotics and they have really, really modernized their kind of brand with l offering lots of different colors. Now, I'll link a few bags down below if you're in the mood for shopping. The next number nine is Valextra. I have also talked about this brand before. I think this brand is beautiful. This brand is Italian. And again, it is very understated. These top handles, the Azide, ISIDE collection is what I love. Again, they're timeless, they're elegant. It's the durability. If you have that mindset of not going with the trends, but curating a wardrobe of timeless elegance, capsule wardrobe, you'll have these pieces forever. You have the basic pieces of your wardrobe in. And by the way, I never used to wear black. I decided to wear black today. Timeless, elegant, and it's never going to go out of fashion. So I just think these Valextra, uh, they have them in beautiful baby blues. They're even the logo, as in there is no logo, but on the front, the clasp is very, very minimal. They hand make all their bags again making sure you know the craftsmanship is what they go for and these brands are all about brand image the product details and just keeping their brand exclusive you know and prestige when it comes to this level of branding and if you know you know number three is Hermes the two bags I've picked from Hermes are of course the number one and I have it myself in the Vert Criquet is the Picaton and I just love this bag talk about understated elegance like before social media not a lot of people knew about this bag i certainly didn't and even still we all know because we're watching youtube videos in the you know we're, we're in the audience and you know we're chatting about it and we're learning and educating ourselves and educating each other and all the rest of it but not a lot of people would know about the picatan it is a beautiful elegant well crafted handmade and the, the just the feeling of the material on this bag alone is just stunning and she's not going to break the bank as far as the other two we, we all know and talk about. The other one I wanted to pick, even though I have my Eveline, which is of course more understated and even more so, again, if you want to wear it the proper way around, which is this side, so that you don't have any H logos and you can wear it towards your body. And again, the quality, the craftsmanship, I have hoped to have this for the rest of my life, basically. I really cannot see myself selling this bag or selling my pick tan there's a few bags i cannot see myself selling i know i've sold a lot lately but these are bags i want forever and ever and some people have said about the strap that because it's canvas that it will bobble it probably will but we'll deal with that when it comes and i've been using this oh my god people have been asking me every day i know i only have it i don't know what a week but i've been using it every day can you see my little pieces in here my chanel o case my card holder and my phone which is just there and those three items because you can carry everything in here and I have a little insert organized or er, organized ordered for her because I just want to keep the suede on the inside in top shape beauty I am absolutely loving that bag the bag I wanted to talk to though apart from the Picatan 18 is the garden party the garden party to me again Hermes is a real grower I wasn't really a fan of the garden party but the more I look at it and it's all again about the quality and the craftsmanship I'm telling you it's like once you get into the game it's hard because you do know that the quality is there and it's just a step above the rest I know everybody can't afford it but the garden party is more affordable it has feet on the end if you want it as a work bag as a travel bag instead of you know something like the new Louis Vuitton Neverfull which is up there now and ex expensive wise price wise and it doesn't have any logos on it get your little bag organizer for it and off you go it's a beautiful beautiful looking bag but very understated again very minimal very elegant very sophisticated and very well made number seven we are going to go with none other than missy moo over here some people this is a love hate bag i'm loving it look at it with black i think i'd wear it with black i'd wear it with white I'd wear it with like a cerise pink or you know that kind of beautiful pink fuchsia pink i would wear it with probably blues blue and green goes nice together sometimes but bottega is the epitome of um understated absolutely zero logos this brand is knows known for its entrachiato which i suppose you could say is a logo in itself but there are no logos you might say oh viv there's a little logo here on the zip who can even see the zip nobody the quality is second to none again i have to say this is my first bottega bag so i can now vouch for it it really is the arco bag oh my god i have fallen in love with that bag i really have fallen in love with that bag i saw it in paris when myself and katie were over there we went to Le 
Bon Marche and it was just, it was there and it was like, oh my God, so beautiful, so beautiful. I picked it up, I tried it on and I just thought it was the architecture of it, the design of it, simple elegance, you know, beautiful. And the prices of these and the small Arco goes for 2,300, the small Jody goes from 2,100 euro. But you know, you can get better deals on Vestiaire, Fashion File and all the rest of it. A beautiful, understated, elegant, sophisticated. Now, next up, I'm going to talk about Ferragamo. Ferragamo is something, do you know what? The Gancini bag I have looked at. And I was going to buy this bag. I think I was going to get it. I saw one time, it was either on eBay or Etsy, for 900 euro. Now these bags are brand new, brought out again for, I think they're like $2,650. Thank you, Vivi, should have bought it two years ago. But since this bag, the creative director of Ferragamo is now Maximilian Davis, I think this is a brand to watch. I think Maximilian is going to do some amazing things with Ferragamo and I think we're all going to be wanting a little bit of Ferragamo and I will link some down below. The Gancini bag is just that ladylike, elegance, unique, classy, very low key with the little tiny clasp on the front. It is just divine. If you love the Mini Kelly, this would be a bag I think a lot of you would know. I know Rosie, Rose, Mina May has one also and it's absolutely beautiful. Going and moving on from Ferragamo, I decided to talk about The Row. The Row is a brand I heard of before but wasn't really that into. I've obviously been researching it an awful lot more. It's getting very, very popular, along with Kate, by the way, also. I wanted to mention Kate. They have beautiful, beautiful, I mean, the cardigans we all know about, but they also have some nice bags now, and a lot of people are starting to buy those bags. So I will link some down below. And the row then is that understated workhorse of a bag, particularly the half moon bag that has just come out. I think that bag is, it's well priced at 1,350. The row bags are well made leather, simple leather bags and uh, they're minimalist but it, it, there's kind of like a cult behind them. People wear them like there's like, well not a lot of people know what this bag is but we know what it is. Beautiful, beautiful bags, just well made if you want a really, really good leather bag. It's gonna be timeless and elegant and you'll have it for years. The row is definitely one to watch and one to look out for. The next one is, and I don't have one of these, but I have been looking at this brand for a long time. Let me know if any of you have it because I really think it's beautiful. Now there's another brand that people have been given that I wouldn't accept and I just don't like it, which is Senrev, sorry Senrev. But Polen Numero Nuff, particularly this bag here is just gorgeous. It's Parisian, it's well made, it is well priced and it's handcrafted. The price of this bag is $470, obviously depending on what size you get it in. I think it, the way it drapes, it's made of that beautiful, I think it's calf skin as well. As I said, it's timeless, it's stylish, it has a top handle, it's just beautiful and I think it is definitely a brand. It's doing really well at the moment and I think it's gonna to continue to do brilliantly. Number three. Well, I couldn't, you know, talk about this video or talk about understated, timeless, well-structured architecture, beautiful leather without talking about Loewe. Come on, Loewe is beautiful. I had the medium, limited edition, tan color, a Loewe bag, the puzzle bag. Mine had the whip stitching on it. That's the limited edition. And it was just too big for me. So I sold it to one of my subscribers who absolutely loves it. I still hope you're loving it on and you see this video. Beauty of a bag. And mine happened to have the gold hardware on it. She was so beautiful and feet on the end. She was just too big for me. As you can see, all my bags now. And this bag I did have in my vlog sale, but it didn't sell. And that doesn't bother me because I'm looking at it now and I love the slouch. It's kind of like the Loewe and I can wear it couple of times in summer, but it's understated. Most of my bags are quite small. And as I said, the Loewe in the medium was too big. So we might have to do something about that because I like Loewe a lot. So I suppose the puzzle bag is very well known now. So there's two bags that I think are very understated in Loewe. The flamenco pouch, which Maggie Chu has a lot. It's a beautiful bag. She has it in the gorgeous, gorgeous green. And that bag is about 1,900 euro. And then there's a the hammock bag. The hammock bag actually reminds me a little bit of the Irma's Lindy because it has the two, the straps, the shoulder straps that you attach and you can carry it and it sits in on your body. And that bag comes in at 2,300 euro. 
So Loewe are just going from strength to strength. I really, really do think between Loewe and Ferragamo, I think are my call outs for, for this year, 2023. Number two, we had to put in Saint Laurent. We just had to. Now there's a couple of bags from Saint Laurent. I love their tote bag. They're just plain leather. I was at the airport actually when I was going to Paris and there's a woman in front of me and she had this bag. Tiny, tiny, tiny Saint Laurent. And other than that, it was just this clean lines, elegant, sophisticated, just no messing, beautiful, well-crafted bag that she had. And I thought it was gorgeous. I'm, I'm, you can add that one in if you want, but the one I picked was the Manhattan. Yes, it looks a little bit like the Kelly bag. I think it's gorgeous. It comes in lots of different iterations with the shoulder strap, without a shoulder strap, different colors. It has, you know, I shouldn't say uh, compared to the Kelly belt, but it has like a Kelly strap on it. It's just beautiful and it's modern and it comes in at, I think it's $3,300. Not cheap, but very well made. Like Saint Laurent stuff is, is brilliant. And this bag, I think you'd probably get it on, on the resale for a pretty good price. Again, I'll try and find some for you. And last but not least, we could not do understated, elegant minimalism beautiful without mentioning Celine and yes we're all going to, we all know about the box bag that is the iconic Celine bag from Phoebe Philo times and that bag comes in the teen size is 3000 I sold my tiny one because I couldn't fit a phone in it and it was quite boxy on the side of my hip whereas I think I sh if I had got the teen size maybe it would have been better just a bit more elongated of course the new 16 and the mini oh my god that is just beautiful it's another one Maggie Chu has and that one is 2800 you can get it in beautiful colors black white I think they do like a green they do a baby blue they do beautiful colors in that bag Celine is just incredible it really really is incredible and I've been looking at that 16 and I'm like no Vivian you can't have it you bought enough it's minimalistic it's elegant and it's just it's iconic and it's going to be around timeless forever I wanted to give a mention just a little bonus mention to a brand I've been looking at recently that I think is really beautiful some people call it luxury some people won't I think it's stunning it looks like the Celine bag it's APC I have mentioned them before in videos look at this bag the grace bag by APC this one is down from 565 to 452 euro you can get it in all the different sizes i love this brown of course and i just think it's elegant timeless and so beautiful if you didn't want to go the price of the celine bag i think it's fabulous so there are my picks my 10 luxury understated quiet luxury beautiful stunners of bags i hope you've enjoyed it i have lots more content coming up so don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and until next time be kind be safe and be compassionate Love you lots. Mwah.